All right, guys, uh, hanging out here, Oxford, Michigan. Been uh, been working on this for a little while with a buddy of mine, Scott Taylor. Um, something he always wanted, and I don't know. I guess I signed up for it. But uh, working on a pizza place, new to Oxford, Michigan. It, uh, by the time you guys see this video, it'll be open. Sick pizza. Oxford, Michigan. All right, guys, a little update here. I want to cover, bring you up to speed with some of the stuff around the shop with uh, 2.0 and getting ready to do um, rebuild on that. We just got back from uh, Rocky Mountain Race Week. Aiden and I uh, did that in the in the ship box. Um, very successful week. I mean, it was Aiden's first time down the track. He did wonderful. Um, take little baby steps with everything. I mean, worked through progressions with it. Uh, got to a point to where we went. 9.12 on the last day, he had a hood pin come up. Um, we looked at that, plus we got the broke turbo on it that, uh, that we got to get replaced. But um, just those items alone, it's like, okay, he's just, I mean, we'll hold off on him getting his first date. We definitely had it there. We had the power ability to do it. Um, just think it was best to wait a little bit on that. But if you recall before that was Midwest Drags. Midwest Drags, I had 1.0. Well, we got the engine out of that today. We got back a couple days ago, got that. That's on the way to Steve. As you know, like, uh, or if you saw or watched any the videos on it, on the, the last day, um, Sack was able to get the win. Uh, I had a bad day in Indy where I had to turn in a nine second time slip because of an electronics issue. We had that all fixed for Friday. And then when it really came down to the wire, if I would have ran uh, 670 with the car, which, um, I mean, it's run a hundred times, then that would have been enough to take the win and steal the win from Jason. Uh, best it did on the last pass, 679. It was definitely down power. We were pushing, we were pushing, um, stuff into the catch can. We really think it's a ring landing that's lifted. Um, still runs, drives. We drove it onto the hoist and put it in here, but, um, we had to take, pull the engine out, take it to Steve, Gonna have to go through fresh and that see exactly what the what the story is there with it. So we'll be up be able to update you on that here um, pretty soon with where we're that where we're at with that. But we did get everything out of the car. Um, well, not everything out of the car. We got the engine pulled. So obviously all the rest of the stuff ends up just pulled because um, got the uh, front end up on the wall. It gets to sit there and there's 2.0's burnt front end, but. Um, that's where we're at with 1.0. Um, this is my street cruiser, so this does do a lot of uh, uh, street driving, a lot of car shows and stuff in the summer. All right, guys, I want to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Keeps. Two out of three men are going to experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. The best way to prevent hair loss, do something about it while you still have hair left. For me, it's a little late. So for you, take action. With Keeps, a licensed doctor will review your information online. They'll recommend the right hair loss treatment plan for you. Then your treatment is shipped directly to your door every three months. You can message your Keeps doctor 24-7 with any questions or concerns you may have along the way. And you can track your personal progress with the Keeps progress tracking tool. Keeps is the more affordable option since Keeps offers generic versions of the FDA approved medications for hair loss. Keeps treatments can take four to six months or longer to take effect, so it's very important to act fast. The sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair that you're going to save. If you're ready to take action and do something about your hair loss, contact, go to keeps.com slash Tom Bailey, and you're going to save 50% off your first order. That's keeps.com slash Tom Bailey. I want to thank Keeps for sponsoring this video. Go to keeps.com slash Tom Bailey. You can learn more about it, and you get 50% off that first order. So now back to 1.0. We'll have that back together soon. Get that back on the street for some cruises. Get it down the street. We got roadkill nights coming up. Uh, there's a lot of stuff coming up that 1.0 definitely fits the fits the bill for. So real reason for the video is going to be 2.0. Just want to bring you up to speed with where we're at. Fire was pretty intense with uh, with 2.0, as you know. Inside the cockpit, though, all the wiring, everything. 100% intact. We've tested the stuff out. All that stuff is good. 
So we're good on that. Everything in front of the firewall. So we've got a lot of this new stuff around like uh, uh, master cylinder. We've got line locks. The, uh, the rack was sent out to uh, um, get all rebuilt. So just freshened up. They said everything was good with that. Struts and shocks. Those came back in, so those will be ready to get into the car here soon. Uh, tires are actually sitting over at Skinny's. We got some tires there. So hopefully yet this week, we're gonna turn this into a roller and get it ready to start the rebuild because we do have the front end. So there's the new front end. Passenger door, passenger door was fine. The um, driver's door did have to get reskinned. But I do have that back, but I just want to show you like some of the stuff with the heat and the warping because basically when the fire happened, everything was here. I was still going down the track. So cockpit sealed, all the fire went under the car. So as you can see, like this fuel line is going to have to be replaced. We've got all the new lines and everything back there, but all of this stuff is going to have to be replaced because everything under the car burnt all the way back as well as like the canisters on the canister shocks, the uh, the hoses to them burnt, the lines, the wiring and stuff that's back here. That's all, we've got new harnesses um, that Andy's taking care of with that. So, but inside the cockpit, intact. There's, there's a pan that goes underneath there. So it basically seals off the cockpit. So that's basically the, the driver's compartment safety part there. Uh, we got new glass coming from Pro Glass. A lot of the parts are here. Um, inside this area, nothing damaged because this is all sealed up as well. You got your street tank right there. Um, some more warpage or whatever on this side you got going on there. Uh, there are some new rockers back here for it. Um, we're going to upgrade the fire system as well. Um, just show you some of the other parts we have sitting back here, but, uh, the, the nose block off, that's basically the cover that we put over the front end to cover the lights and stuff because that front end out there went up with lights accommodating it. A lot of the new fittings from Earl's and Holly. You got some new rockers here that'll go down the side of the car to basically replace what we had there. Uh, this is the driver's door was reskinned. So that's basically gonna go back on the car. Um, it's gonna need some new parachutes. Uh, I mean, there's there's still a lot of work to do with it, but it is starting to come back together. And that now that we're back from the events, Rocky Mountain Race Week, Rocky Mountain Race Week, Midwest Drags, two back-to-back -back events. Um, now we can concentrate on getting 2.0 ready. Probably the the next deal that we have, we're hoping to have this ready for uh, Bandamere for the NHRA race here in a few weeks. But there's a couple parts that we're just not going to have in time, so. I actually had to bow out of that yesterday that we're not going to be able to do that. So next event, big event will probably be Roadkill. Uh, Roadkill is coming up in August. That's here on Woodward. So we're going to end up putting together a, a party and a cruise night and stuff for that to get that going. Well, that's where we're at with 2.0 right now. Um, a lot of updates will happen over the coming weeks. So next video uh, it should be a lot further along. Um, with the progression of getting it back together should have some updates on 1.0 for you I, I, I really want to just take a second and say I mean the sick the mag um, If you haven't checked it out, I mean you want to get over there. I mean our first two events um, Midwest drags Rocky Mountain race week uh, Lukey's doing a great job with um, getting that stuff ready. We had Philip. We had um, Philip Thomas formerly of Hot Rod. You had Alana Sher with Road and Track. I mean you have a lot of people that are helping uh, get that thing launched and together. Uh, it's going to be a real cool, a cool deal for the stuff like I do, the stuff like a lot of people do, the drag and drive type events. Um, a lot of features on all the vehicles that participate. Uh, I mean, kind of like I've said before, like I get a lot of attention with some of my stuff because it's on the extreme end. Um, and there's a lot of stuff there that just doesn't get the attention that I feel it deserves and probably most of you feel it deserves. There's some really cool stuff out there, some really unique stuff. There's some, there's a, uh, the old saying, there's a million ways to skin a cat. Like there's, um, 
There's a lot of different ways that people go about being able to survive the week, the creature comforts that they have that they don't have. I mean, one huge thing that, I mean, that, that Cletus and some of the other guys have been using for a while is the, the radios in the car with the headsets. I mean, my first experience with that was on Rocky Mountain that Aiden and I got the same headsets. Um, and we put those in and I, I mean, that is like, it's crazy, like how simplistic it was and how much better it made the experience. Being able to talk going down the road, being able to have some background music going on. I mean, that's just, I mean, that's, it's crazy that I haven't had that in all this time. I almost feel like an idiot for not taking that step and going down that road. Um, but got a little sidetracked there, but Sick the Mag's gonna cover that type of stuff going to cover the cars in there and the the whole concept that we're trying to do with that magazine is we are trying to make it so that everybody ends up in the magazine picture of their car some statement about them i know that that won't be true that we can't get 100 percent. but if we're aiming for 100 percent and we get 80 percent, 85 percent, then i mean I, I think that that's a win and just being able to show everybody a lot more about that stuff i mean this youtube channel a lot of this stuff i mean it's 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 focused on me and my program and the stuff that we do because that's what we have control of on a day in and day out basis. Um, but when it comes to the magazine, when these events happen, the ideas that we're gonna cover, all the people that are participating in the event, we're gonna cover the people that win the event, we're gonna cover the people that place in the event, and we're gonna cover the people that they were just there having a good time the whole event and didn't put up a good showing, but you know what, they had something cool, they had something different, they had something unique that they brought to the table. That's what it's all about, and that's what, that's what this whole, I guess, scene is about, is the uniqueness, like that, hey, you be yourself. Like whatever you think is a streetcar, whatever you think is cool, then hey, there's other people that's gonna be cool too, and that's gonna be something that other people like and wanna read about and wanna know more about. Um, and that's really what we're trying to do with the with Sick the Mag is being able to bring that to the table. First issue should be out in August, so get over SickTheMag.com, go check it out. I think that if you're into the stuff like I'm into the stuff and like uh, let's call it a, a small few, we call them kind of the I guess the one percenters, then get over there, subscribe to it. It's something that you'll like, and and it is going worldwide. So it doesn't matter where you're at in the world. We're doing worldwide shipping with it. I mean, we already have, out of the subscriber count we have, we probably have at least 50 or 60 foreign subscriptions already with it. And I mean, we just launched it a few weeks ago and the first issue is not gonna come out for another six to eight weeks. So that's Sick the Mag. But back to Sick 2.0, Sick 1.0, that's where we're at. Tell me what else you guys want to see. Obviously, we got downtime for some few weeks. We're not going to be necessarily at an event or probably even testing. Uh, what kind of other stuff do you want to know about? What do you want to know more in depth? I mean, do the comments on there. I mean, I read that stuff. I try and try and respond to what we can. Um, and the others, merchandise. You guys have been crazy with merchandise. Uh, we got new stuff coming in. We do actually have some Sick the Mag stuff. We've got some uh, more of the Sick Machine shirts that everybody wanted. There's the machine. We're going through some stuff with, uh, with Haas right now. They've had guys in here testing this machine because the tolerances are off for the block. I don't even know where the block is, but that started to run the stuff through the machine. It just doesn't meet the tolerances it needs to. So they've been in here doing some testing on it, trying to get everything dialed in with the machine um, so that we can get we can get making the blocks, the blocks and the heads and the stuff that, uh, that that machine is sitting here for. So quite an investment for us to do that. And I mean, we really wanna put out quality products that hopefully other people are gonna be able to take advantage of and they can make their program go better. So for right now, I guess I'll call that a wrap on this video. Like I said, I mean, like, subscribe, comment, tell us what you want, go check out all the other stuff. Hey, if you're in Oxford, Michigan, go check out the pizza place I spoke about. It just opened today. Um, once again, thanks guys.